Welcome to the School of St Jude. I'm Gemma, the founder of the school, and I started the school back in 2002 with only a handful of students really, and it's grown really quite big over the last 10 years and we're now going on 2,000 students from grade one all the way to year 12 which we call here form six. It's pretty exciting you know um, to think what we've been able to do when it all just started with $10. Imagine 93% of the population not having secondary schooling, what that can result in. The huge lack of skills in country and the huge lack of um, ability to take the country forward. And so we are here working really, really hard um, to break that cycle of poverty by fighting poverty through education. Hi, um, my name is Cindy Scarbeck and my family's been supporting the school for 10 years. We were looking for a school that had a good leader, um, was already having some good success and that we thought could really benefit from a partner. We came across the School of St. Jude and that was clearly the one that was standing out to us. Our students here in St. Jude's are coming from very, very poor families. And so they are trying hard so that they can get very good life out there in their future. St. Jude is different, is unique simply because of what we do here. We are unique in terms of teaching. We are unique in terms of facilities. We offer uh, extracurricular activities. The government school, there are men in the classes. They can't get the quality education as we do. I think the School of St. Jude's provides our students with the opportunity to have a high quality education, which is going to set them up for success in whatever path they choose beyond school. The fact that they can even finish school, which they will at St Jude's, is a massive step in a good direction for their future. Our mission is to find children who are very, very naturally gifted, but who would never be able to afford um, the school fees for a private education by giving them a scholarship. Some of them, they are living in the tiny little houses in the slum areas and some of them they are living from the Maasai areas and they are living with a lot of kids. They are living in the bombers with a lot of wives. We take 150 each year, so 90 class ones, 30 form ones and 30 form five. After passing the test, we check the, if they are qualified from the poor families and they are bright. When we tell the parents, now we are happy, your child has been selected to the school of St. Jude, they are crying, they are like, I don't know how I can express myself. You can feel the parents, how they wish to get that chance. And you just feel like, oh, I'm the part of helping that family. I'm the part of making that student to be happy. The shortage of rain, we, we have planted the maize, but they wilted before the mature in time. And it means there is no harvest for this year. I, I see it is better if I get education to do other purpose rather than relying on this. Uh, it will change my family positively. Uh, as when I, I get my successful education, I, I could come back to my family, but I can help them. And not only the family, the society around me. Yeah, through maybe educating them more, that is in some materials. And they help to resolve, solve many problems like cattle and labor stock diseases. 
I can say that education is a key for life. And it is a, a weapon for liberation and changing the world. I think what's really special about the School St Jude is that we are clearly pioneering leaders in charitable education in East Africa. The students here are so benefited with the curriculum of St Jude's. The students are getting music lesson, art lesson, computer lesson, compared to the government schools which they don't have that kind of thing. The School of St Jude doesn't just take a teacher. It takes well-qualified teachers and well-experienced too. Educational performance is highly valued in Tanzania and our teachers are working really hard to ensure our students achieve great results. We know that we are providing academic excellence. We have some students winning the national competitions awards. We have some students invited to the international conferences and we have uh, our school ranked in the top 50 schools out of 5,000 schools in, the, in Tanzania. In Tanzania, we have shortages of uh, expertise, especially in medicine, doctors, engineers. So our school is addressing that problem through uh, producing uh, more students who are doing sciences. I think education is so important, so essential to people's life because it gives people opportunities and chances in their life. Like they wish to be a doctor, they become a doctor. They wish to be pilots, they become pilots. They wish to be teachers, they become teachers. I, I chose to be a teacher. <laughs> be prepared! Extracurricular activities are important in education simply because it gives the students chance to explore more. <laughs> We run different seminars, different workshops regarding the leadership to our students. We put emphasis on leadership because we want this student to be the future leaders of Tanzania. Leadership is really important because if we can create good leaders, that means that they are making decisions that are in the best interest of the country and for its people. When I first arrived in 2002, I could see that it was a, an institution that was really going to make a difference to the children who were coming to the school from the little village in which the school started. But the reason I have stayed on is that I've seen that it's done far more than that. It's reached out to a far greater audience than just the children from the village. Originally we were focused on really the mission of the school, helping students find a way out of poverty, giving them an opportunity to earn their way out of poverty. And since then, it's really changed because I've seen this unanticipated ripple effect where students are helping other students within their own community, teachers are putting their children through school, they're putting their nieces and their nephews and their younger siblings through school, and it's just really a community here. When the school goes shopping, there's certainly a lot of people in Arusha who get very excited. You can imagine all the women in the market who used to sell only a little punnet of tomatoes. We now go shopping and buy maybe 40 baskets of tomatoes, 50 baskets of onions. Um, we've got 5,000 meals a day that have been cooked, so there's a lot of people in Arusha who are really enjoying the benefits of the St Jude's shopping list. Almost the whole school budget is spent here in Tanzania, really in Arusha. They buy all the food for the students, the uniforms, the books, pay the teachers. The teachers take that salary home and spend it in their community. There's very little that's not spent here in Tanzania. Tanzania is one of those countries that is peaceful. It has incredible mineral wealth. It has the uh, potential to be the breadbasket of Africa. It now really needs the population who can ensure that that's going to happen. Tanzania should expect a lot from School of St. Jude. We are going to get future leaders, we are going to get honest leaders, we are going to get uh, very responsible people who have been very well taught. I want to do international relations. Video programmer. Teacher. Uh, Agroeconomist. Pediatrician. Lawyer. I want to be an engineer. A surgeon. I want to be a doctor because I want to help people. My name is Blandina Allen. 
I've just finished from six at the school of St. Jude. And I'm um, right here doing my community service and, and I'm really happy doing it. Because there is where I can give what I received from the school of St. Jude. The graduates do a year of community service as a way to give back to their communities in thanks for their free education at St Jude's. They're working in government schools, teaching, and also at the School of St Jude. The community service spirit will help these students to think about giving, about helping poor families. They know that they are coming from poor backgrounds. Well, I think the giving back philosophy of the school is wonderful because it has a very big impact to the society whereby schools hardly have enough teachers. So if St. Jude's keeps on doing this, I think it will bring Tanzania to a better position. There's a very big difference between the school of St. Jude and here because first of all there is not enough teachers, there are no enough resources. There's so many students in the class, about 60 to 70. From what I learned from my teachers, I can apply it here now and I, I think I'm well equipped. So if I had not gone to St. Jude's, I would just be a, a girl at home or even maybe get married. Because girls in Africa, if they don't get education, they only end up getting married at a very young age. So I think if I hadn't gone to St. Jude, I could be in that position, which would, and I would be very miserable, I think. I think there's lots of people who are very interested in giving to Africa and improving education in Africa, but it's hard to pick the right institution. And I can personally attest that every dollar here is well spent. The students feel very proud knowing that someone out there in the world is paying for their education because the backgrounds that they come from, they, had, they would never have dreamt of something like this, but it becomes reality because someone decided to take that generosity and initiative to pay for them, and it makes them feel really good. It's pretty awesome to I finally met the person that I've been corresponding with all this time and actually see kind of what a difference has been made with sponsoring her. They don't have the opportunities here and we come from such easy backgrounds I suppose so to help someone to make it easier for them is, is very satisfying. Well, there's many ways of supporting the school. You can sponsor a student or a bus or a teacher, or you can give $10 to help towards a bucket of carrots. I have been sponsored by a sponsor in Australia, and I'm really happy about that because if it were not for my sponsor, I wouldn't be here. And all the other students are really happy and grateful to be sponsored by all these people who are giving out their money to support these young Africans. Yeah, I would say this place has totally changed my outlook on life and what I'm excited about doing and my understanding of world culture. I care about what happens in Africa and I really care about what happens to both the teachers and the kids at the school. The School of St. Jude students are amazing. They are brilliant, they are smart and they are daring. I'm proud of being part of their life and making their life better in the near future. It's my hope that I will see the change in the future in our country because of what we do at St. Jude. I would say the School of St. Jude is an institution that's going to be part of Tanzania for a really long time. It's going to be a leading institution. My biggest aim for the children of this school is that they grow up to be, you know, really strong community focused leaders with good skills and values. I'm really excited about this education that I got from the School of St. Jude and I'm happy to know that I'm going to continue with my education and that one day I can make a very big impact to the Tanzanian community. So please consider helping us to fight poverty through education by supporting our school. You can sponsor one of our students or make a donation or simply tell a friend. We'd really love you to join us, wouldn't we everyone? Yeah!